Hey guys, welcome back to the Mago YouTube channel. Got a brand new light to the market to look at today. It's by a company called Kania and they are only available on Alibaba. So you get them direct from the manufacturer. Uh, very good value for money, especially considering it is a four channel light. So it has a veg, bloom, UVA and infrared channel. So four separate channels on this light, which makes it really unique in terms of that pricing for that level of specification. It's also got this interface controller here with the screen, which um, again, incredible that they're offering this amount of features um, for, um, for this value. So is it any good? That is the question. Let's have a look. So it's a really high wattage light at 900 watts. Also quite a big fixture. It's 1.1 by 1.1 meters. It's about three and a half foot by about three and a half foot. It comes pretty compactly packaged. The bars are separate from the driver box here on top, but they just click into place. So really easy to assemble. You've got eight separate bars here and uh, yeah, all evenly spaced. On the end of the driver box then you have this little controller interface. You've got uh, individual knobs for each of the four channel outputs. You got the connections for daisy chain dimming control and you have an interface here with timers, uh, you know, sunrise sunset features, all that sort of stuff integrated into the light. So you don't need any external controller for this fixture. The big mixture of LEDs on this fixture. The LEDs used are Samsung LM301H whites, uh, Osram 660 nanometer and far reds and they all have uh, the requisite conformative coating of the LEDs to protect them and give them a longer life. There's a combination um, of outputs. So starting off with the veg, which is the cool white LEDs only. You can then add the uh, bloom, which is the warm white and deep reds, and then also adjust on or off the UVA and far red LEDs as well separately. You can control that with the knobs here. We can also do it through the controller interface. We'll have a close look at now. Well, the controller is really simple to use. You got this display here showing what spectrum you have selected. As you turn up and down the individual channels, the spectrum will change to show uh, what output you are uh, using. You can click into the various elements here on the side and select the sunrise sunset functions, the timer on and off. You can individually control precisely uh, the power output or the wattage output, I should say, for each of those channels as well. So I did check the spectrum output of this fixture using the Sensatec Passport spectral radiometer. And under the test, you could see the um, full range of the spectrum, including the UVA, and the far red elements and uh, th with those channels all full on. Given it's a 900 watt light, it's a big fixture. I tested it in a five by five. The recommended hanging height is between 12 and 24 inches. I did test 60 centimeter or 24 inch hanging height and there got a average power of around 850 micromoles and an efficiency of 2.13 micromoles per watt or usable PPF per watt. That's measuring the total power output on the plant canopy and dividing it by the power consumed, which is a touch over 900 watts. So overall, this is a very interesting fixture, very good value for money, has the four spectrum output. So if you're looking to tune in um, UVA and far red at various stages of the grow, this may be ideal for you. It does indeed cover a 5x5 five five really well with good even coverage and it ticks all the boxes really in terms of specification. Um, so yeah, nice light, happy to recommend it and congratulations to Kania. As usual, very interested to hear what you think about this fixture. If any comments or questions, leave them below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Take care.